this is Charles here with another video and it's that time again a vlog so I'll talk about things going on with me my channel so you know how this goes now I did mention that I was on hiatus from toy reviews and I still am and well while there's no toy reviews until I'm finally ready again I did make haul videos unboxing videos and I did say I'll make rant and discussion videos, but I didn't make any new ones yet, but they will come eventually. to so take in place for toy reviews, and I hope you guys enjoy that so far. Because I don't just consider my channel to be a toy reviewing channel, but a fandom channel in general. So we talk about things like fandoms, or the franchises we love and follow, comics, anime, video games, toys, TV shows, movies, all of that good stuff. And people know me for having many fandoms, and I take that compliment sincerely. I like a lot of things, but that does mean I like everything. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is that, well, toy reviewing or toy collecting can be considered an expensive hobby. And well, two years ago I did mention that, that I wanted to expand other toys that I enjoy from other fandoms I love but sadly that didn't come into fruition or as I expect it to be because it's a lot more overwhelming than I thought so as of now I will mostly stick to my top five fandoms in terms of toy reviews I mean I'll still collect some toys of my other fandoms I just won't review some anymore like for example I love Doctor Who, but I quit collecting Doctor Who toys because there's so many characters in Doctor Who and it's a big franchise that's been around since the 60s, so I decided to give Doctor Who up in terms of toys. I still love the TV show, but I won't collect the toys anymore. <clears throat> but there are different ways to show our fandom, so there's several other ways. And well, I feel like it's best for me to stick with my top 5, which happens to be Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Transformers, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. However, like I said before, there are toys that I will still collect, some I will pick and choose, some I decided to give up like I mentioned with Doctor Who. <clears throat> there are some toys outside of the top 5 that I've always wanted to review. Maybe not as frequently, but every now and then, like G.I. Joe. I did make some G.I. Joe reviews. And I did mention I wanted to review NECA, Alien, and Predator toys. I've only reviewed one, which happens to be Chopper Predator, if I remember correctly. So I wanted to share that news regarding my channel as well. And I really need to start reviewing more LEGO sets. On my secondary channel, the Toa Tahu 194 if you want to subscribe and support me, that would be great, and I'll leave a link in the description. And well, there's other things I did wanted to share. Like, I did say that I stopped reviewing Gundam Model Kits, aka Gunpla. However, I will still collect them, I'll still do unboxings. I just finished my most recent one, the Wing Gundam, and here he is. This is mostly a straight build, meaning no paint, no extra details. Just stickers and plastic. I really hate stickers, but I'm not the best painter in the world, so I'm left with no choice. Actually, the only thing I did paint was the green center chest piece. And that proves why I don't like to paint my model kits. It's really shabby in my opinion. But this is better than what the kit actually did come with. A clear plastic piece and a sticker to go underneath it. So there's that. And the last news I did want to share is that where I live, SAC Anime is going to come next month. I've been to SACCon three years in a row, but this is my first time going to SAC Anime. I've always wanted to go, but this I haven't been able to go until now. And I did save up enough money so if there's anybody local who wants to hang out with me or talk there, you're more than welcome to do so. 
And I do love anime. I, I don't often talk about it. But I do love anime. Things like Dragon Ball, obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Bleach, Naruto, Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist, Soul Eater, Black Butler. I watch a lot of those shows and more. And there's plenty of celebrity guests I wanted to meet there as well. And since SAC Anime is mostly anime, animation, and video game focused, they do other things, but it's mostly anime focused. Maybe I could buy more anime focused merchandise. Things like Dragon Ball Dragon Star, since I started to collect those since last year, and Gunpla Model Kit. And I will say this one more time I stopped collecting Gundam models, but I will still do unboxings and hauls with them. So if you're gonna request reviews of that, sorry, I have to say no. And that goes for all requests. I stopped taking requests. But yeah, I hope I kept all of you updated. I just want to share with you guys what's been going on. And I'm glad I was able to share with you things like why I am, I'm on hiatus. Some toys I will still collect, pick and choose, or just flat out give up. I'm not like Sean Long, the Review Spot, Toy Galaxy. Don't get me wrong, I'm not dis disrespecting them. If anything, I'm a fan of all of those guys, which is why I made the comparison. I'm not like any of those guys. I have so much space and budget that there's so much I can do with my toy collecting hobby. And SAC anime coming up. And if there's anybody local, you can always hang out with me. So this has been it for my vlog. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.